Well, hello there. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and today I'm going to walk you through a simple love spell using these uh, Rose Forever bouquet that I have right here. So for full disclosure, they did send this bouquet to me uh, free of charge, but all of the opinions here are my own. And let's get started on how we're going to do this love spell. So as you may know, or you may not know, uh, the full moon in Libra is an excellent time to cast a love spell. Libra rules relationships, and the full moon adds a little extra burst of power to any sort of energy work that you're trying to do. What I really love about Rose Forever is that these roses will last an entire year. So this can be a constant spell that I renew every single Friday. Now, why do I choose Fridays? because they're Freya's day and she is a love goddess. So any sort of love or self-love or beauty work, anything that I would uh, do that way, I do it on a Friday because it adds an extra little burst of power to whatever you're doing. And whenever you lay upon correspondence upon correspondence, you just add extra layers of power to your spell. So these roses last an entire year and they are real roses. They come in a pink suede box and it feels amazing. So pink and red are colors associated with love. So that adds an extra little layer of correspondence. And just look at how beautiful these are. So I am going to set these in the moonlight along with some crystals. And I'll show you those crystals in a second. But Basically, I'm going to set the intention to bring love into my life. And you could use this for self-love if you need a boost of self-love for yourself. If you want to call in a former flame, you could do that if you want to call in your soulmate. However you want to use the energy, uh, the Libra full moon is the perfect time to cast a spell like this. So... I'm going to leave a link down below for Rose Forever if you want to check them out. Um, I'm also going to have a coupon code down below for you so you'll see what those, what those are. So let me show you some of the other items I'm going to be using. I'm going to make a rollerball for myself uh, with jasmine and rose in there. Probably some chip crystals as well. I'm thinking probably rose quartz. And I'm going to use these rose quartz pieces also. I'm going to light a candle. I'm going to put the rose quartz pieces around it. You'll notice that one of those is a pendant. And I'm going to anoint these with the rose and jasmine oil. And basically wear this as a talisman throughout the year to help bring love into my life. And... I have this ritual water bottle that I got from Goddess Provisions that I'm also going to use in the spell. So as you can tell, the full moon in Libra is going to be very awesome this year with a lot of power. These roses, by the way, um, they last an entire year, so you can do a very long-term spell with them. I plan on putting them on my altar. And then whenever the roses are done, don't throw out the petals, by the way. Pull all the petals off and then infuse some oil with it. I'm probably going to use some sweet almond oil and then you add all the rose petals to it and set it in the sun over a period of days and that will kind of infuse the oil with all of that rose goodness. And then this is going to be a love oil that you can have for, well, years. You'd have to strain out the rose petals, of course. But there's a lot that you can do with this sort of an arrangement. So this is basically how I'm going to be spending the full moon in Libra. So one other thing that you can do whenever you do a large spell like this is adding in some tarot cards. So why do you use tarot for spells? Well, they have a lot of meaning. They've been around for a very long time. People use them every single day all across the world. So there's a lot of focus and energy on these cards, and they all have these specific meanings. So these are a few that would be very helpful for a love spell. Of course, you can tweak this any way that you like. 
if you wanted a specific person, you could put like the king of wands or the queen of wands or the you know king of pentacles and so on and so forth. You can kind of adjust this. And I do think um, this Rose Forever has a lid on it. I do think I'm going to put a couple of tarot cards underneath this, specifically near the roses that's going to be going for, you know, an entire year putting that energy in. So there's just lots of little layers of correspondence that you can add to your spell work in this way. I thought I'd also show you the petition paper that I'm using. So this is basically almost like a little love letter that I'm going to write. And the petition paper, you speak in the present tense in a positive manner. What do I mean by that? So I have the love of my life with me. We understand each other. We care about each other. Whatever you're looking for in a relationship, that's how you would write your petition. And I'm going to use this small beeswax candle that I have here. I like the beeswax because I can put glitter on it. I can open it up and I can add in herbs if I want. I would probably add some of my dried rose petals and my dried jasmine, probably some hibiscus that I have, and use that as well in the spell. Any kind of extra layers of meaning and extra layers of correspondence that you can add is going to help the spell. Pretty much uh, this full moon in Libra is the most well-aspected day um, up until the new moon in Libra coming up in October for a love spell. So take advantage of the energy that's in the air and do yourself a favor and do a little love spell if you're looking to do it. So I wanted to thank Rose Forever for these beautiful flowers that will be well used in my upcoming spell and I will keep you guys posted on how this goes. And if you want to check out Rose Forever, you can find my link down below along with a coupon code and blessed be.